Welcome back neighbors, and welcome to the elusive world of lawn stripes. Today, we are going to discuss, how adding stripes to your lawn, is a great way to take your lawn to the next level. Lawn striping can be done simply by mowing, up and down in a systematic, row by row method. This mowing strategy itself will save you time by reducing mowing, time. It does not matter if you have a push mower, lawn tractor, riding mower, or zero turn. This is the most efficient method for cutting grass. For most mowers, the weight of the deck will not, not, be enough to leave vivid detailed stripes behind. But some mowers will stripe with repetitive cuts in the same direction. On their own, the striping ability of most mowers, typically depends on the mower deck type. Nowadays, most lawnmowers have electric motors or gas engines. They turn blades that are either on a reel and cut like scissors, or rotate like a propeller to chop the grass. These gas mowers have rotary blades that spin horizontally on a vertical crankshaft. There are two main deck types for rotary mowers, stamped decks and fabricated decks. Most small residential mowers have stamped decks that are cheaper and made from thinner and lighter weight steel. These decks are formed by taking a piece of metal and pressing it into a mold to form the mower's deck shape. A press then perforates the sheet every 60 centimeters. After the press separates the segments and rounds off the corners, a robotic arm moves each segment onto a die. A 500-ton press bends the steel like tin foil between two molds to give the deck its basic shape. This method works as long as the metal is able to be pressed into shape. Eventually if the metal thickness is increased, it will get to the point where if it is pressed into the mold it will compress the material and create cracks in the material where it is being forced to bend. A fabricated deck is made with thicker materials by welding pieces of the deck together to form the curved deck shape. These decks typically cost more because they are welded together and use thicker materials. Onward to lawn striping. Lawn striping is an illusion and for this trick to work one has to understand what lawn striping is and how it works. If you understand this it makes getting the most vivid results much easier. Lawn striping occurs by creating an illusion. Lines are not physically being put in the yard, and no, the mower height in each row is not cut at a different height. The lines are created by bending the grass in one direction, opposite to the previous row. This combined with light causes the appearance of lines in the lawn. For the most vivid, dark and light stripe lines in the lawn, one wants the direction of the stripes to run north to south. This is primarily due the sun, rising in the east and setting in the west. The lines are the darkest when the sun is shining in the direction of the stripes. Although, for results to be viewable all day, that is why it is recommended to run the stripes north to south. The one item, I have found that elevates your lawn to the next level, is adding stripes to the lawn. This little trick, can make an ordinary lawn look extraordinary, and a great lawn look perfect. Lawn stripes can be laid out in countless ways, to make your lawn look unique. Stripes can be curved, straight, angled, or combined to form any pattern your mind can think of. There are many different types of stripe kits out there, some you can buy and others that one can build and assemble yourself. I have tried several designs, and have to say there is one that is significantly better than the others. The first option. For a lawn striper I have tried building utilized a piece of 3 inch PVC pipe filled with sand. I have tried this one with both a push mower and riding mower. Both did not produce very good stripes, but did stripe. Toro makes a similar factory stripe kit for their push mowers, that resembles this design. The biggest issue with this kit, is when one has to back up, it tends to make doing so difficult, but possible with a lot of grace. The next kit. I tried utilized a rubber floor mat. The mat would drag behind the mower sort of, like so. It worked better than the PVC in my opinion on the riding mower, but still made backing up difficult if more than about a foot. It would occasionally stand up blades of grass and look like I missed a spot when mowing. It did not work for the push mower, due to the attachment point being so close to the mower deck when I attempted to back up the rubber mat went under the deck and I almost chopped it to pieces with the push mower. The next option, I found after researching striping kits were for riding mowers. John Deere makes a stripe kit for their residential riding mowers. It cost around $100 and is more like a broom that attaches, behind their mower decks. 
I never bought this but did try dragging a broom behind a mower to see how it did. To me this did the worst. When backing up it would push the grass up and make like I miss cutting a lot of spots. When it was how the broom pushed the grass up. I also did not feel this was going to last long due to the bristles would probably start to bend and not impose much force down onto the grass. Another stripe kit option. I found but never tried was a conveyor built roller that some people attach behind the mower deck. The only thing with this design that, I do not like, is that the mower deck usually only allows for this roller to sit just below the mower deck about an inch or two, and not all the way on the ground. This design does seem to work for the ones who install it. It appears to be of higher quality than the rubber mat, broom, and PVC pipe. Some mower manufacturers sell this as their factory stripping kit. The best stripe kit I have found is made by the big league. The lawn striper's primary design consists of a bunch of boat rollers that stripe the grass. It has enough weight behind it that it works great, both in forward and the roller allows it to go in reverse without binding. Mine is over 9 years old and has plenty of life left in it. I purchased mine used 9 years ago off a guy on Craigslist for $50 and spent $25 on the mounting hardware. The best $75 I have spent on the yard that just keeps giving season after season. I have attempted to make a replica kit for my push mower and spent more than this on the rollers and mounting alone. So neighbors, keep an eye out for these used on Craigslist, offer up, and Facebook marketplace. Several people do not know what they are. When they buy a used mower and want very little for it, they typically just wanted a cheap mower, and the attachment was a plus to lower the cost of the mower to them. If it was me, I would have kept this kit to use on my next mower. Speaking of next mowers, one mower that is on my list to consider for my next mower is a Simplicity Lawn Tractor. To the best of my research, Simplicity is the only manufacturer of riding mowers that have a mower with a stripe kit built into the design of the mower. So neighbors, we have talked about how to get stripes imprinted in your lawn and have discussed several DIY options for building your own stripe kit. As well as looked at a few optional add-ons you can buy ready to attach to both push mowers and riding mower stripe kit options. The pricing of these kits vary with the size of the kit. In general, when selecting a stripe kit attachment, plan on getting one that covers the width in between your mower rear tires not the width of your mower deck. Thanks neighbors for tuning in and remember to comment and subscribe so that you get notified on future videos as soon as they are released.